So, good guy. And he's younger than my youngest child. Everybody's younger than your youngest child, Mary. We are well, live much, yeah. on In a Perfect World on Tuesday night, the 30th of June, 2020. And we'll probably be getting a thumbs up from Grimner on the main feed any moment now, if I did this correctly. Dun, dun, dun. I've been trying, Miss Mary. You know you know how hard the computer is for me to operate. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, well, you man. know, I just absolutely hate it when inanimate objects are smarter than I am. Mm. <laughs> well, I will assume I haven't seen anybody say anything. Grimner gives slash the thumbs up. Ah, we're live. So thank you, Grimner, for putting a... Putting us up. He even grim fingered it. I know, but <laughs> he puts us up here on the radio a couple times a week so we can play. Yeah, he puts up with us on the radio uh, too. <laughs> I know. Hey, you want a button body? Certainly. No, Certainly. Feel Looks free. like there's three six people in here right now in the uh, R L Lumma Numma Num chat. No. Right up top we got Barman, the most splendiferous bot. <laughs> Y'all know this, but I gotta say it anyway, because Barman needs the stroke in every once in a while. Uh. Don't get pervy sock. I also see <laughs> Hey people, how you doing, hun? Cowboy Tech is also here. Hey, He's Cowboy always Tech. pleasant voices. So never, ever, ever adjust his hearing because I like the way he listens. I also see Grimner, the RLM god, don't you know? And he had a new show last night. It's called It's All Connected, which, yes, it is. It's like those Connect the Dot pages. And me, I have a funny way of, of you know, like I'll go one, three, five, seven, just to see what kind of picture it does. And then I'll erase it, and then I'll do like the evens and then I'll erase it. I like playing like that. Thing. We know. That's that's <laughs> why I hold you hostage here on the radio. Ah, okay. Entertainment also, value is just ah, priceless. Well, yes, I can be somewhat entertaining from time to time. I also see Moose Goyle Moose is here. Hey, Moosey, how you doing? Um, I saw you're looking at a boat. And the first thing I thought was motorboat, motorboat. No, here we go. You dirty girl. Whoa. Because that's, you know, that's the way my mind works. Hey, Grimmy read my mind earlier, and he said he even peeked into the dark recesses. I'm sorry, Grim. Mm. I am not paying for your therapy. <laughs> I also see the lovely Miss Kate is here. Hey, wow. Kate, down in Florida. you just We got a cheap. double dose of anti. Ah, uh, lucky us. I uh, know. Anti with it, with and without a tail. Uh oh. He goes both ways. Ah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Weirdo. We also see the Asmodeus Asmo is here, as well as Chalsa Denis, who got the O out of here. Da, 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 da. So, the lovely Circolo put it on, so oh. you know, like, hello. Oh. We got some duh. <laughs> Man, have I had some duh moments lately. Wow. Where I've just looked at things and gone duh. Yeah. Hmm. Social media is wonderful for me to just kind of... Ignore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You know, when it gets to the point where I'm feeling the Bambi and the headlights look coming on, it's like, i got to walk away. I just... <laughs> my IQ level is dropping really fast. Whee! Something's dropping. It, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Hello, I me. You're in here, Flash, or somebody. Hello, everybody. Fruffy Woik is here. Ah, Fruffy. Canada, Canada. As well as yours truly. Oh, Flash, okay. you is much louder than Grammy. And I will go to my... Well, I was worried about not hearing you. I might have turned them both up too much. And go. Ah, mm. okay. <laughs> testing, one, two, testing, one, two. I don't want to take a coronavirus test because mm. every time I try and uh, test with corona, yeah. then I have a headache the next day. Really? Bum, bum, bum. Meister Brower is here. Hey, Woody. As well as Prince. Ooh, Finger did Prince. Jump in or did I? Finger, oh, Prince as in printing. I also see Rob Woikes is here. Hey, hey Rob. Hey, Bubbler. How you doing? Yeah, Lucky bubbler. the lovely Miss Diam Van Meter just popped in, Damn. too. After Noonies. Lovely lady. Uh, it's da, 9 da, o'clock da. out here. Yeah. In well, the it's after Noonies here. Trust no one is here. Oh, isn't no. that wonderful? I know. It I'm is. I'm so happy. It's, it's 
Yay. Vanna White, the lovely letter turner bot of the RLN oh, channel, as well as part. W4DKV. Is that mm. anti Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Triple dipping. Triple dipping on Tuesday. Hmm. And I'm and gonna what? call the police and have you under arrested. <laughs> under arrested? Mm. Uh, I used to tell my. Or kids is that, that arrested development? How do you have arrested development? I don't know. Do you play with put words. handcuffs on it before it starts developing? I don't know. I really In any case, please, please. Weather Dork is here. Uh-oh. As well as the Phantom. The Phantom. The Phantom. Holy shit. And Chloe, with one E, is Singular. here. Singular. I know, a Cyborgian Noodle, and I'm doing the Cyborgian Noodle dance, because I'm feeling rather flexible today. <laughs> mm. Did that balance the uh, volume for the two of us on the Radadio today? I would assume it, is, it did. Radadidio. Mm-hmm. I hope so. Radio. Uh, Radio. E-Man. Radio. We're on a Mexican radio. Hey there, no, E-Man. Rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Rodeo. <laughs> this ain't my first see. radio. <laughs> <laughs> Fooled me. I also see an end civ. Is it the end of civilization I as we not. know it? It could quite possibly be. JJ's nine 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 JJ's is here. That Scottish color with the kilt. You know what, JJ's? I'm wearing a skirt today too. Don't be blowing too much smoke up my ass. I'm Whoa! My skirt. Woo! She said ass. Ah, that slipped out. Wow. <laughs> JJ. Sure glad you didn't say fuck. Yeah, good thing I did. Yeah. Huh? Uh, go on. <laughs> you did. Go on. <laughs> no, I didn't. JJ, you just think I did. STLMO, is that like St. Louis, Missouri? I think so. I yeah, J, yeah. I, I chatted with JJ in St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah. St. Louis, where the arch is. Yeah, it's the best name in the known world. Really? It's my name. All right. Of course it is. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I also what, see Kiss what? is here. Mwah, pucker up, baby cakes. I also see Matt, WJ2002, Papa Papa Ponsa is here. Sock, Sock puppet. puppet! Yeah, you better be careful, Sock, because, yeah, I felt that hair pull. Oh! Just, Did he just do you that wait, again? mister. Yeah. Your time's coming, mister. Mm. The holiest Roger ever. Holy Roger. I know, holy Roger. That's almost know. as fun to say as holy to Murgatroyd. But I never heard Robin ever once say, holy Roger, Batman. No. No. So, hmm, there's a flaw in your story. You never heard him say holy Bat Guano either. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Robin was bilingual. <laughs> I think it was by well, something else, though. <laughs> a good question. Run around in your underwear with a guy in a purple cape. Oh, hey. And they had masks on. Hey, <laughs> they they, they were, were ahead trim. of their time. But they were yeah, wearing the mask, the mask on, yeah. over the wrong hole. Oh, man. I hate when that happens. Uh, and to round out the crew, the one, the only, the Z-Pix is in the chitty chat. So, dun, dun. Sure. Well, welcome to another attempt at communication on the thing we call In a Perfect World. Tonight's episode of In a Perfect World is called Raised in the Myth of Freedom, because we're going to philosophize freedom tonight, baby, all over the place. Smith mysterious. Ah, well, you were chatting with me before the show started about the uh, masks coming to Hans ass. Yes. Would you Hans like to ass. tell the class how you feel about the masks, Miss Mary? <laughs> I think the governor of Kansas can take those masks and take the whole batch of them and put them where the sun don't shine, is what I think. Mm-hmm. And I actually, when I first saw Lisa B., my lovely friend that does my hair for me, um, sent me the news link because she knows I don't have TV and and I don't pay attention to news things, so she sends me this shit. <laughs> and it was like, oh, wait, oh, no, no, no. Apparently, as of mid- midnight, July the 3rd in the morning, or 
12.01 a.m., <laughs> we are going to have to start wearing masks if we are in public. And so I just started sharing it all over Fakie Book and a few other places, Twitter, and which my Twitter went really quiet after I started sharing that. But <clears throat> I said, um, I will not commemorate Independence Day behind a mask. Mm. I will not. Right. And I was trying to explain to people that we're celebrating Independence Day. You we're know, <laughs> here in the United States. We're supposed to be celebrating Independence Day. Mm. And yet, here yeah. comes this edict from the ivory echelons on high telling us you must all wear a mask if you go into public areas. Huh. Fuck you, who? <gasps> I will not. Wow. And then I did see someone that said, oh, yeah, he'll wear a mask. Mm. He just won't wear it over his mouth and nose. And I thought, cool. I could play with this. I could have fun with this. I could really mess with them. Yeah, but you got to yeah, wear all the other clothes, Mary. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is, independent. Oh, and wow. I did post several times of, you can't tell me this is not a quinky dink, because they've been trying to shut down 4th of July celebrations. And if you'll notice, when they say we're shutting down 4th of July celebrations or there won't be a 4th of July celebration, they always say 4th of July. They don't ever say Independence Day. Mm. And you know why? Because mm. words have power. That's right. And they're casting a spell. And when you say 4th of July, everybody thinks barbecue, let's mm. get drunk, fireworks. They don't think of Independence mm. Day. So this is like a little subliminal mind fuck going on here. It's not so subliminal, but there's an awful lot of people that just flat ass don't realize mm. that this timing is is exactly the way they want it. The day before, oh, yeah. we were going right. to celebrate yeah. our independence. Whether it's true or not, people believe it's true, so therefore it's true for them. So, mm -hmm. the day before, we're supposed to commemorate the day that we declared independence. Mm -hmm. They're making us chattel wearing our little muzzles. I That's got, pretty much what they're doing. Well, I have a theory about why they do and why they can do these horrible things. Oh, but yeah? Nobody agrees with me. Well, you know, my, my oldest daughter, when I posted one of those, I said, just say no, do not comply. Yeah. She commented on that, and she said, well, do you comply with speed limits? And I responded to her, actually, yes, I do, because they make sense. But making healthy people mm. wear a mask mm. and obstruct their oxygen flow yeah. in public does not make sense. Therefore, I will not comply. Well, I think a car is easier to handle at a faster rate of speed than a slow one. <laughs> I like speed. It, yeah. Well, That's why I don't it drive kind of anymore. depends on what kind of conditions you're driving in as well. So. Let the driver beware. <laughs> I mm -hmm. don't know. But you know what? I had a thought, or somebody had a thought, and I stole it from, and I think it was Max Egan that made this comment, so I took it. He said, a second wave is only possible if there was a first wave, and there wasn't. Yes. So here we are, seven months, eight months into this bullshit, and the state just does not listen to input. The media no. and the internet will not allow the other side a voice. So, yeah, you're going to have a lot of people yelling at you to put a mask on in the future when the reality is so opposite of what the story is. Oh, and they're doing they're doing the guilt trippy shit. Oh, I see how you are. You're being selfish. As a matter of fact, yes, I am. I happen to like being able to take in the proper amount of oxygen. So, yes, I am being selfish. Wow. Thank you very much for noticing. But, see, I've been harping about how lame the public is as a collective for years. And here and here they are proving it. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know. I could live without all that drama, so I do. I'm not yeah. homesick. I say that sometimes when the guys are all complaining about the state of the condition of the world and all this. I go, wow, you guys are making me so homesick. <laughs> no, they're not. I, I, I like where I'm at. I, I think I even consider it home now. 
Well, good. Yeah. Well, I I have the uh, home is where your heart is. I have the right to speak the truth in in a public setting when it's inappropriate to do so. So I felt very good about that today because I was bitching Yay. about somebody being a liar. It's one of my big things, you know. If you're going to tell a story, at least tell the same story. Don't don't two years go by and you let that story evolve into a different story. It was different two years ago. Why why are you talking like that today? And you may be or asking if you're yourself, tell a fabrication. At yeah. least make sure that you let everybody know. Okay, this is some shit I just made up, but it's really freaking entertaining. Yeah. Well, I was going to say you may be asking yourself, "What the fuck are you talking about, Flash?" <laughs> but you didn't. And what it yeah. was, yeah, it was uh, this guy two years ago when I first met him was all about Trump and. He was going to New York and visiting America and how wonderful Americans were and this, that, and the other. And just after the uh, corona crap all ended, it might have been before the... It was either right before the bar closed or right after. So I go to this other bar where I'm not very... You know, people don't know me very well. They just know, oh, there's that long-haired American guy. And when I went there, my good friend that loved Americans and America and all that wouldn't even look at me. Because he was with his peers and he didn't want them to know, yeah, I go over to the other place and talk to him all the time. <laughs> ah. So, yeah. So you're a selective friend. Well, yeah, sometimes that. We call that fair weather friend. Yeah. So, yeah, so I was talking to the bartender about it and not trying to be quiet either. I was making sure if he was listening, he could hear me. So, you know, take your stories and take a jump somewhere. And he guy's huge. He probably weighs about 280. Oh, so wow. if, if he gets his hands on me, I'm in trouble. But if I can trip him before that, <laughs> he wouldn't be able to get up. <laughs> so anyway, but uh, anyway. It, it won't anyway. it would never come to any violence. But I'm still American inside. You know, the brain still goes fight or flight. And the reality yeah. is so different. You know, oh, we're disagreeing about something stupid in a bar. Have a giggle. And that's it. It doesn't go anywhere. In America, it had been a fucking 911 call, paramedics, five people involved, fighting on this side, six guys on the other side, big barroom brawl. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, shit. Governor hmm. Kelly says that that she wants us to wear a mask until a vaccine is available. Well, no. Mm, I tell you what, she can have my vaccine as well. And she can put it right where she can put that mask. I'd like to see them volunteer to get a, a inoculation on the Internet live with a certified you know, third party. This is really the inoculation. We checked it. It's really this is what it is. Shove that shit right in their arm and have some fun. They deserve it. And what I don't understand about, oh, above all, you were commenting on the 4th of July, freedom, independence, blah, blah, blah. And here we are with a bunch of governors that want to lock you down and make you wear masks and keep you separate. And doesn't doesn't the, uh, the collective understand the bad side of this? Or are they so stupid that they don't pursue a, a, an answer to a question? Maybe they don't even hear a question. They just hear an order. I tell you what to do because I got this shiny badge and a gun, and you'll do it. Yeah, whoa! I don't know. I'm I'm at odds with this. I I live in a place where people aren't all that intelligent, as far as I'm concerned. They're not geniuses. They're working class, regular folk. And I haven't seen a mask, and I think I saw like two in the last month. You know, it's one. One was driving in a car, and the other was somebody in the grocery. And even that hand sanitizing shit starting to die down. Yeah, yeah. it is. Oh God! Yeah. And then I saw a link the other day. Uh, several people hospitalized because they tried to drink hand sanitizer, and I'm thinking Darwin is just trying to clean up the gene pool. I read it was blamed on the alcohol content. They were trying to get drunk. And still, Darwin is just trying to clean up the gene pool. Wow, the great calling of 2020. 
Yeah. They got the there old people. There will be an awful lot of 2020 hindsight going on after this year, let me tell you. Yeah, you want 2020 hindsight, listen to the dork table from, like, February. <laughs> there, there's your hindsight. Yeah. 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 Cause I was a little nervous in the beginning about, hey, you know, you people are getting fucking screwed here. I, can you not see this? But when I would open up Internet sites with, you know, more popular people saying the same thing, I figured, well, I, what, what am I going to lose, 20, 20 of my listeners out of 40? So what? It's not that important. Yeah. You know, what we think, it's, it's just not the popular mainstream idea of whatever society wants you to do. My suggestion is don't listen to them. Whatever they want you to do, it's bad for you. Right down to a driver's license. <laughs> well, when they when they break out the Jewish mother thing, mm. oh, but you know, especially the for the children. Yeah, let's talk about for the children, shall we? Let's get into that discussion. You know, mm. and and as soon as I come back like that at them, then they kind of back off because it's mm. like, oh, wait a minute, I I think we talked to the wrong person. This one actually knows what the hell she's talking about. <laughs> yeah, <I> do. <laughs> Yeah. yeah do. You know what my favorite part is when they're trying to defend the story that they've been shoved and then they hear me talk about something and I watch their eyes and I can see them. Oh, wow. <laughs> I never thought of that. And all I'm doing is yeah. gathering other people's information and applying it to how I see things and just talking about it. Oh, and congratulations to Grimner for his uh, attempt at doing what he did last night. On it's all connected. It's all connected. <laughs> because I, I, for one, do not use a script. <laughs> I, ver I make my notes as I go through the show, not before. So I understand well, that how difficult it must be for somebody else that's used to having a program not have a program. Because I panic the other way. I get a program and I fuck it all up trying to do it, and I never do it right. You know, and I've tried to do the whole program and have it all lined out. <laughs> Don't worry. You know, in the early years, oh. I was trying to do that. And it's like, no. And then Vinny told me one time, bless his heart, he said, Grammy, you need a programmer. You need someone to line all your... And it's like, no. 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 I don't need that because, yeah, I'm... Okay, let's just throw it out there. I'm a free baller. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Well... Yeah. It's just... I need that <laughs> stream of consciousness kind of thing. Because I'll, you know, before I go on the radio, I'll have all of this stuff lined out and think, this is what I want to do, and this is the song I'm going to start with, and this, and this, and this, mm. and this. And then as I get into it, it's like, squirrel. <laughs> I can get five minutes into a show, and it's squirrel. My excuse so. is the weed. Ah, my excuse is my mind. And then Welcome when, to my mind. When I do radio with you, I'll be right in the middle of an excellent rant, going just perfect. And then you go, yeah, but Miss Lisa said yeah. blah, blah, blah. And you change the subject on me. So that I know. I love to interrupt you because you're so good at interrupting me. I do my best. I know. And I have once I learned mm. how fun it is to yeah, do that, it's yeah. like I can see why you do it. Yeah. Well, a lot of the times when I'm interrupting you, you, you spark a question in your tirade. And if I don't squeak ah. that question in, I'm going to forget what I want to know and, and hear all the <laughs> crap you, I don't want to hear. It drives yep. everybody nuts because I'm, I'm a selective listener. I've heard every fucking story that people can tell. So, eh. Get to the juicy bits and, you know, do this, the, what do you call that, um, small talk. Go do that with your barber and leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> so I do yeah. radio with people. <laughs> <laughs> talk about control issues, huh? Yeah, well, we, and we do small talk on here. But True. We think True. big. Well, we live in small worlds, Miss Mary. I, we're just not international kind of people, I don't think. Get up here, rascal. Uh oh! Cat's on my lap. Really? You. Yes. Oh, she is such a chubbles. Uh -oh. oh my god! Well, what do you feed her? Cat food. <laughs> well, we got we but got a feral she cat. Gets dry food and canned food. Yeah. Well, this feral cat we got, he he eats here and then he goes out and kills shit. Ah. So yeah, when in the winter time he was like a bowling ball with a tail. So. <laughs> 
Yeah, he was like huge. So we had to, you know, get him some diet food to trim him down. Because he wasn't out as much, so he was eating less already because of yeah. the winter time. But boy, he got all bloated last year in the summer. So, well, Rascal oh, no longer has to compete for food. Mm. Oh yeah, Doozer, that's then right. Doozer is out. Doozer has now got flowers growing over her. So oh, Doozer's and Kate took yeah. Buddy to the dentist earlier today. I think it was today. Oh. I I get lost on days because I sleep in the middle of the day for a period of time nap, and then I don't yes. know. Did I hear that today or yesterday? Hmm. Yeah. But I think it's Buddy. That had the teeth problems. Oh, some poor little doggies. They can't tell you which one hurts. Turn oh, at all. no, it was Charlie. Oh, okay. Oh, it was Charlie. It was oh, okay. yesterday. See, I, I'm i so, I'm getting so old, Mary. I don't remember. You're what, Sophie Buttled. Yeah, I don't know what day it is. Oh, no. What am I going to do? <laughs> so, I would think that you oh. should explain to the listening world why. Why in the fuck... Can they have a second wave of this fucking virus when they didn't have a first wave? Well, okay, um, it is going to be a visual, people. You have to, you have to, audience participation. Raise your arm and wave. And if you look at your upper upper arm and it's got that hangy down part that waves too, there's that second wave for you. That that's the second wave, pretty much. Does that explain it? No. You got the visual? No. <laughs> no, it's there just... There is no freaking second wave. They have carried it on and carried it on and carried it on and carried it on. And the first wave <laughs> wasn't even a first wave. I got a CDC link that confirms it. Yeah, it was not Right. a, a wave in the first place. But the but, rhetoric still continues through the Oh, yes. Now the they're media. saying it's a second wave. So the only second wave that I really know about, unless you're like a surfer dude... Yeah. And it's like that first wave is just too puss, so you want to go for the second wave because it's more badass. This is not that way, okay? Because the second wave is just what's coming up behind that first wave, and it's just, it's not a wave. It's just natural flow of shit. But they're calling it a wave Uh because they're saying, oh, look, we've, we've, Told people that they could get out and mingle, and now look what happened. We still got people getting sick. So this is the second wave. Okay. Just say it is all it takes, right? You don't have to have any well, proof of nothing. Yeah, because you know, coronavirus is a group of viruses. It is mm. a family of viruses. The mm. MRSA virus is in that same family. So is the SARS virus. So is the common cold virus. Yep. So. The second wave, which, you know, we've got harvest going on right now, so there's a lot of dust in the air. There's a lot of wheat chat in the air. And so you've got a lot of people sneezing and coughing yeah. and wheezing. Yeah. And they must have corona. Oh, and you know right. what? You know how they test? They test you to see if you have, you know, the, <coughs> excuse me, the, <coughs> yikes, the antibodies for yeah. corona. Right. This large family of viruses. If you have an antibody for this large family of viruses, <laughs> yeah. you too have the coronavirus. And every really? every test is treated as a new case. So if they test you ten times, on paper that's ten new cases. Yeah. So it's they're just yeah. cooking the books. Here we are in this ignorant world full of fiat dummies and stock markets and just complete and total stupidity. And they're they're easily led by a threat of a cold. Wow. And, you know, I saw something the I'm other day. I'm going to miss day. America. Yeah, well, they had something. Well, I don't even remember what site I was on that I saw it. Someone had said that they'd scheduled to go in for the coronavirus test. Because apparently where they work, they have to get tested. Well, they didn't make it in that day. But a couple of days later, they got something in the mail that let them know that they tested positive. They didn't even go in to get tested, but they tested positive. Right. Cirque went in and got tested, and it was two days later, negative. How? 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 She was sick. She had the fucking flu. How could she not have the corona and have a flu? How does the test know the difference between the regular flu and the corona flu? See, it, no. It's just the corona a... flu comes with a lime on top. <laughs> okay, there's no limes. In... They got limes in the store. I could have ah. cheated. 
but I didn't. You put the lime in Corona and you drink it all up. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the good side of all this drama that's hitting America right now is it's over here, finished. I don't, I don't see them pulling this crap a second time or even trying to. Well, but there are people out there that are good little order order followers. Well, we live we'll next door to Sweden and Germany. No, it ain't going to happen. They've learned from watching the other countries. These people, they're not idiots. They're just not educated. It's different. They well, got common yeah. sense. I mean, even the moron I was complaining about, you know, with his stories about America, I never seen him wear a mask or gloves. I see him go against everything, go to the bar when it's not popular. Just because mm -hmm. he's a lying sack of shit doesn't make him, you know, foolish in that, re you know, one side is stupid, the other side he's got a brain. So, because yeah. of that, I'll, I won't push him, try to get him to, you know, hurt me or anything, but I don't like the guy because he, he lies. Why would you be so yeah. honest about this and then lie about something so stupid as America? Oh, it just makes me, my, makes my head spin a little bit. Mm-hmm. And it's not like I've never told a lie. I'm not a totally 100% you know, honest, but I choose my lies to be about stuff that if they find out you were lying, it just makes you look good. You know, like, honey, do these pants make me look, make my ass look big? No, no, sweetheart. See? Of course not. You never say yes to that. Mm -hmm. But there's some topics where I wouldn't lie because, you know, in the end, it's going to get you. But the white lie to make somebody's ego feel better, nah, I don't mind any of that. Oh, guess what? Huh. I just see this saying, Nancy Pelosi calls for mandatory face mask policy. It's long overdue. Well, Nancy, for you, it would be long overdue because while you're wearing that mask, we can't see your dentures almost popping out while you're talking. All which that would money, be cool. too. Yeah. And, yeah, and it... You know, it would muffle her voice even more, so she wouldn't be quite so irritating. Wasn't, Although I would have to see her eyes and the hand gestures. Wasn't but. she the Wicked Witch of the of the North in uh, the Wizard of Oz? Wicked Witch of the West. Oh, okay. Well, one of those which uh, my joke went. Oh, actually, it was Glenda the Good Witch was from the Witch of the North. Oh, remember Glenda the Good Witch? I was bragging about I I blistered my hand with a teapot, my arm. Just above the wrist, toward the elbow, about halfway, right? And uh, I put, what do you call it, uh, coconut oil on it, and it's now it's starting to wrinkle. Is that? Uh, oh, phone, there's your phone. It's like, yeah, but nah, I'll call them back later. When a burn heals. I didn't recognize the number. When a burn heals, does it normally wrinkle? Um, hmm. It can, yeah. I've never burnt myself like this before, so I don't know. You need to. Put some lotion on it. More, it's drying more, yeah. out. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Well, I'm not real big on all that oily, lotiony kind of stuff. That's certain. Well, put some put I'm some gonna. Oil I, on it. I, I, did, I have been, but I probably need more at this point. It, but there's no pain involved. But I'm looking yeah. at the damn thing, and it's it's ugly. It looks like I've got contracted some kind of rash playing with a possum or a deer. You know, ah. sticking your arm up the old butt there, huh, Lou? <laughs> No, yeah. Yoink. Well, you know how when you see something, <laughs> somebody with a big red mark on their arm, your mind just goes right to the, uh-oh, I wonder what that idiot was doing. <laughs> I wouldn't or think burn. I, well, no, nah, I'm more, I'm vicious. I like fucking with people. I got I a that. sick and twisted kind of sense of humor that requires other people's misery. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Grim said, Flash puts the lotion on its skin, or else it does the radio again. <laughs> Never mind. Ooh, she's coughing. Ah, Excuse taking me. a cough break. So did we just about me. did we just about burn out the idea of the second wave is only possible if there's a first wave? Yeah. Wow. And then you still can't, even if you did have a first wave, the second wave can't happen until after the first wave is over, and... They never declared the first wave over, so how can you have a second wave if you didn't declare the first wave over, even though the first wave was just all a bunch of bullshit to start with? And they always oh. predict the negative. They never predict anything positive, ever. Nothing. Zero. Nothing. Oh, no. 
Zip. And you know why? Because they want to keep the frequency low. They want to keep people vibrating in the lower frequencies, in the fear zone, in the anger zone. Nah. Uh, I'll pass on I would, that. I don't well, do I was that. a little bit cranky and cantankerous last night when I got that news. And then I got yeah. frustrated because yeah. people were like, well, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I don't care about anybody else. How ignorant. They're just ignorant. Yeah. Those people don't get it. No, they don't. So they're conned, they're conned by stories because they've seen uh -huh. movies on Netflix. Mm hmm Well, I guess. Or they believe the bullshit that they get on CNN and MSNBC. and Yeah. So, it's like, nah. Nah. Not going there. Ah, you're just a sissy. I thought yes, you was I a am. seasoned professional and could take all the shit people give you. Oh, yeah, and that's another thing. There, mm -hmm. There's a difference between a friend punking you and being constantly insulted. Yes. I think. Yes. Cause I've yes, got, there is. Yeah, I've got friends in town that, that the Danes like to, uh, they like to punk each other. The, you know, the closer they are, the more, com the more common that is. They don't, you know, they don't do that to people they don't like. It's backwards, you know. So yeah. Well, well, uh, you know, I understand that. It's like all of us siblings, you know. Whenever we had friends that would come and play, everybody got a nickname, and if we didn't like you, you didn't get a nickname. And people realize that, you know, if we kept calling you your given name, they eventually stopped coming around because they knew we didn't like them enough to give them a nickname. <laughs> So, you know, yeah. What? If you like someone, you pick on them. Yeah, isn't that weird? And I'm and I'm very sensitive because I'm very sensitive. So it's like an on and off switch, just like anything yeah. else. And well, I I've known this one for a while. If I want to be mad, I'll be mad if I want to. You can't stop me if I want to be mad. So I went the other way. If I don't want to be mad, well, same thing. I could choose it. You can't. Yeah, you can't make me. But yeah. you can get irritated of people's company because of their behavior. And and other folks looking on will judge it without really being involved in understanding what took place. It's very strange how we behave in public. It's saying. Yeah. You know, because I, I always harp on it's a manner of interpretation. And we're all running a different station all at the same time, so... The chaos, I expect it. I, I look forward to it, in a sense, I think. I wouldn't understand the world if it was balanced. I'd think something was wrong. Well, and perhaps that's what we need to grow out of, is to get to the point where, you know, being balanced is not necessarily, well, something must be wrong. Well, Wait that's, for the other shoe to drop. Yeah, and that's how I mean it, Grimner. He's made a comment about sensitive is... Uh, I I think that I feel it and uh, I respond to things that other people don't even notice all the time. It's not once in a while with me. It's like every freaking time I go out somewhere. I'll see something in my little way that I see it. And until I mention it to other people, they never say anything to me. But if I go, hey, blah, 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 blah. They, whoa, yeah. But I, yeah. Did, I didn't see that. I'm glad you brought that up. So, hmm. I call it being sensitive. Sensitive. Yeah, and then attentive. The, uh, yeah, paying attention to yourself and others at the same time is really hard to do. Cause I'm looking out. So in my mind, I'm looking at you. In reality, I'm just digging myself. Look at how cool I am. Ooh, I'm so irresistible. Ugh. Shit like that. There you go. Well, okay. do you think other people are, uh, they're not vain and egotistical? I mean, I've looked at other people and said to myself, self, boy, there's an egotistical fucking guy that's full of himself up to his eyeballs. And then I realized, oh, that was me in the mirror. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you know, I do know some people that are not vain or egotistical. But I also know some that, oh, good Lord, you don't even have to see them. And it's like there's a disturbance in the force. 
and then they come around the corner and it's like, hmm. oh, that's what it was. <laughs> All right. Well, so. but you know, do you feel life is balanced around you? You know, when in so, yeah. in social settings, when you go away from the nest, you know, when I go yeah. away from my nest, I immediately know I'm I'm unbalanced. I'm at the mercy of them. They could do anything that could, you can imagine. A plane could fall out of the sky and kill me. You just don't know, right? Yeah. But I don't. I'm not paranoid. I don't worry about it. But I've got that antenna up just in case something's too loud. I can get the fuck out of the way and not get crushed by the car. <laughs> and over the yeah. lifetime, they go, "Wow, you're paranoid," or they go, "Oh, you're so sensitive to everything. Ugh, you're fussy." Yeah. Well. You're not. <laughs> Somebody has to look out for the one that doesn't really pay much attention to that. It's like me and Cirque teaming up, you know. She's sensitive yeah. in some ways that I could give two flying fucks about. And then I'm sensitive in ways she looks at me and shakes her head. Go, wow. <laughs> well, yeah. And that's, I think part of that, that's part of why you guys work so well. well. And still to this day, of all the things I can say... To make my wife nod her head, I go, oh, that round earth thing really makes me wonder. <laughs> or, I got another one, too, for backup, gravity. It gets everyone. I've never met anybody that wouldn't go, wow, you're a freaking nut. Well, <laughs> I tell people the only reason I think there might possibly be gravity is because I'm starting to sag. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Oh, well. I no, think we all do but, that. You know, yeah. Well, yeah. We all kind of start drooping just a wee bit. But well, I don't know that gravity has anything to do with that. Well, and what, they say, well, gravity's real. Just step off of a building. Yeah, yeah. But okay, what part of life... could be magnetic force yeah, as well. But what part of life do you get to where you've been behaving in the same fashion since the day I met you to the moment that I'm talking to you right now? I w mm -hmm. wouldn't know a year change, right? Now, if yeah. you got all feeble and croaky and grouchy, isn't that a choice that you make? I mean, you, you know what I mean? The people, the people that are older that let things bother them and they hate everyone already, you know, again or still. Yeah, and, yeah. And, well, you get what you put out in life. Oh, yeah. Period. So. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing that when you get older like that, I've noticed is the, the older they age, the more resistant they are to help. So you really got to force an old person to accept help because that's how stubborn they are. And it makes them look bad. But once you get them there, they'll listen. They go, oh, it's like an imaginary wall you got to climb over so that you can be free of whatever was holding you back. Yeah. Well, your mom didn't change. She's just uh, got repaired, in my opinion, from what you've been telling me over the years. She was always, how you're explaining her now, oh, I've got to go, I've got to eat. That's normal mom. The mom that yeah. you were dealing with, it's ill mom, was another part of her. And in, and what most people do is they let the oldie, oldies isolate and be left alone long enough to get comfortable in their own shit. And then justify, see, you guys don't love me. <laughs> well, and i tell you what, I did talk to my brother today, the one that's got durable power of attorney and blah, 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 blah. And uh, he was kind of giving me the lowdown on some stuff and how they're wanting to keep mom at this facility for, they're thinking, probably four weeks. And he said, no, with all of this mask and isolation stuff, that would not be good for mom, which, no, it would not. She's a very social being. She needs to be able to have physical interaction with people, and you can't do that in this facility. So once she gets to where she can get up by herself because, you know, healing from abdominal surgery at 88 years old takes a little bit longer. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, once she can get up by herself and her balance is good, you know, we want to get her home. But the so trust that, that we, the trust to, to do what you guys were saying, I'm sure she was physically not uh, in a position to choose, but mentally she she went with it and got better. Yeah. Because I'm always harping also, about that too, Mary, is if you believe things in your mind, there's the first step to doing it. So if you believe you're going to get better, you get better. If you don't, you, you yeah. don't. It's 
That's true. So hard to explain to other people. Very powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and bless her heart, he and I were talking, and I said, I asked him if he'd ever heard the Jim Stafford song, um, That's What Little Kids Do, where you piddle in the puddle in the middle of the drive, and, you know, it starts (laughs) out with the little one doing that, and then it gets to the old guy, (laughs) you know, and look, Dad, he can even tie his shoes, and then they go out and piddle in the puddle in the middle of the drive. And I said, that's where mom's at right now. She's in that piddle in the puddle phase of life. Yeah. And he agreed. You know, she she is. She's she's 88 years yeah, old. She's yeah, yeah. powering down. Yeah. But she's still doing pretty damn good considering what she's been through. So we want to get her home so that she can do her power down mm-hmm. at home. Yeah, I wanted to make a point of saying that it's also a big part of it is her compliance to the help. Because uh, it's hard. Yeah. Know? It's hard to trust somebody blind and really, you know, I'm good. You, you either you really mean it or you don't. And if you don't, you're gonna get you're gonna get hurt through whatever you go through. You have to really. There's a positive and a negative for a reason. <laughs> They're not just yeah. words Larry and Rob throw around to talk about electricity. There's so much more to it. It's simple yet it's complicated. What? Well, and it's like I, I think I was talking about the other day, you know, all of these new age gurus that tell you you need to step away from all of your negative feelings and step away from, but people don't realize anger can be a really good boost. You know, you get angry and then you focus that anger on something constructive and man, you can really kick up the jam with, with it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, wallowing in fear, wallowing in self-pity are not necessarily good. But you need to at least acknowledge that you're feeling them that, yeah, and then try to figure it. out what the hell it is yeah, yeah. that's causing you to feel that way right. or maybe leading you in that direction, however you want to work that, and then deal with whatever is bringing those feelings out in you as opposed to going, mm-hmm. oh, I'm sad. Okay, why are you sad? What's causing you to be sad? It's isolation. And think of, yeah, yeah, and then try and think of something that will bring you happy thoughts. Other people. You know, and, you know, happy thoughts are wonderful. I think everybody needs to carry around a bag of happy thoughts. Even if it's just a little something with little pieces of paper written on it, you know, like eating an apple. <laughs> yeah, thought. yeah. Do you, you know, do you remember? Thought. You remember how old you were before you learned that lesson? I don't. I don't think I've learned it. I'm just aware it's there, so I can claim to know it. <laughs> mm. Um. Well, I do. I. You know, I think it was never just a one-time. And it's just a culmination of lots of things. But I do remember reading Peter Pan and. And when I was a kid, and oh. and I don't remember which, said, I can't find my happy thoughts. And it's like, aha, mm. wow. And that was just something that stuck in my head. And so, yeah, mm. sometimes I need to go and find my happy thoughts to help me get out of my crankle mood or whatever. All right. But you know, if I find them, then I'm better. All right. We're, we're, me and you are in a unique situation. We're partnered. We're happy with our partner. Okay. Think about uh-huh. the people that are isolated, all right? And some of them are by choice, like Grim, right? Uh-huh. Grimner likes his privacy or whatever the fuck you call all this crap. Anyway, I hope Grim doesn't mind me. Use, but I, I use him because he, everybody, he's openly talks about it. He's not too crazy about people, but yet he goes through all this work with the Internet, so we got a place to, to play. So... <coughs> I would assume. Grimmy has his uh, interactions on his terms. Yeah, yeah. But I would assume, though, in his isolation, if he needed help, he would be open to what he asked for. See? He's in more control yeah. than your mom was. Your mom took physically ill based on a mental, you know, a mental thing is how it all starts. You do, you make yeah. the wrong decision physically. Oh, I'm not going to eat this. And then, then, you know, in time, you, you repeat the mistake. Instead of having somebody around to, to remind you, like me, I, I forget to eat. I don't think of it. So I, without circa around, or you know, I'd be like probably five, ten pounds lighter. 
Well, yeah, so, see, in the summertime, yeah. I'm like that because I just get busy with all kinds of other stuff, and so I do forget to eat. Wintertime, when it's cold outside and I'm inside, and, yeah, I may be knitting or crocheting or cleaning or whatever, but mm. I'm still nibbling all day long. Ah, like, great. Yeah, yeah. Well, I could probably, if I made a, a an attempt to do it, you know, where I was paying attention and following, a, like, a schedule of some kind or another, Something to, to remind me, do this now, don't fuck around, do it, get it done, and then, you know, like a job. Uh, like, you can't, you can't not weed whack the edge, you gotta go do that. So, you know, when you do it is incidental, you could do it first if you feel real stupid, but, you know, there's protocols and order if you follow it. And if you don't, sometimes the chaos is fun and sometimes it's deadly. Yeah. Which basically means pick your battles. Right. So, you know, we're we're not much different than plants in a lot of ways. You know, the more yeah. I, I... Yeah, I planted a new peppermint thing I got at the grocery store the other day. And I decided on my own, the first plant I did it on accident just happened. But this guy, I'm planning on growing this particular plant to a certain height and size. And uh-huh. I've never... Now, this is my first year where I've really put a lot of thought into it. I usually just do shit and then try to maintain yeah. it every day, you know. But no plan. Like a gr- oh, let's talk about Grimm's show. And I think the idea is good. I think the concept is I wish I would have thought of it. So what what he's going to do though is go live and do our like we do only with a plan. But it's hmm. I don't think I explained that correctly. It's like a guideline, but he won't be he won't be as tight as he used to be. It'll be a looser guideline is what I'm seeing. Because yeah. you could start talking about anything and then find all the things that it's connected to. Wow, it's limitless. It's endless. You can do more than an hour in a week. I mean, jeez. He'll, it'll evolve into a, a very interesting format. And I'm kind of jealous I didn't think of it is what I... <laughs> he he earned that. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's the uh, he's the thinker. Between the two of us, he's the hands-on guy. He does the computer cr- programming. And I think abstractly, and he thinks like in order and, you know, uh, what do you call it? That's it, in order. Things have a way to... They belong a certain way. And There's a I, natural progression, yes. And some of, some of us human beings have the where, wherewithal to look at things and see them in different ways. Like, they can see the beauty of a math equation. Yeah. Okay. I've oh, had I that... I have a grandson like that. I've had that moment here, but only small stuff, not huge. But the concept of, wow, look at the art in that math. Like, wow, look, yeah, it makes designs, and once you go beyond all the normal thinking and you see what you want to see, it made my life a lot easier to accept that, hey, I don't see everything you guys tell me is there. I think I think you're lying. got me in all kinds of trouble. So I kept it, you know, private. I isolated it. That's what I wanted to talk about, too, is isolation. Okay. I don't think I could take isolation. Unless it was uh, self-determined, like Grimner. This is why I brought Grim up in the first place about that. He chose that. You know, if there's some people in life, they get divorced. I got divorced. I wasn't choosing that. That was the choice. Okay, but the isolation was it's devastating. Well, yeah. Okay, so See, now and here you've got all these, be. but you got these politicians insisting. That people live that way against their fucking will. And you, yeah. it, whoa, just because so many of these fucking weirdos like it, Grimner, uh, that's cool. I, I'm glad you guys like it, but I feel they, they want to shove it on everybody else. You know, it's the same thing I feel about the sex crap. You know, if you're gay or you want to fuck poodles or chickens, keep it to yourself. We're not going to do a radio podcast about it. We'll use it as the butt of a joke, you know, maybe. But there's just some things that, uh, I don't know, they don't really warrant all that much attention unless they're used to be funny. <laughs> Isolation is a serious thing. It can 
do more damage to a person than they know because they've not been isolated. So yeah, if they're if they're not prepared or if they're not comfortable with being by themselves, yeah. Then who do you tell if you're isolated and it's against the law to be within six feet of people? This is a trap. You're being fucked. That's all. I I End still don't get the whole magic six feet shit. Is this like you know equates to the six feet under thing? Facial recognition software that they have available. They just installed it. Probably only works. If you're six feet oh, from the other guy. Yeah, if you're too close. You're too to close. Other, you're vibrating yeah. frequencies that the computer probably picks up ah. still and it fucks up the imaging. Or I'll bet Grimm could explain it in a man, you know, manner that was real, but I'm just joking around, kind of making a, a point. Well, see, and I was thinking it had something to do with six feet under, because it sure as hell couldn't be that the virus is flying along, flying along, flying along, and at five feet, 11 inches, it goes, whoa. Whoa, and then all of a sudden, here's a virus zapper at six feet, just like a bug zapper. Yeah, I don't well, think it works that way. But, you know, like Grim said, fuck a chicken poodle. You know, whatever whatever you believe is true, Mary. There's the whole principle that I I've base everything off. If I believe it, you can't convince me until you show me proof of your side. And I believe everybody's like that. They latch on to whatever they believe and by believing it they make it real so well you I, know what? i'm kind of like a lot of these questions i'm seeing pop up on twitter so if the masks work why the six feet if the six feet works why the mask if the masks and the six feet don't work then okay i see having the plastic shield but either one of those if either one of the previous ones worked, then why do you have to have the plastic shield? Or is that because some of us have decided that I'm not sick? Why should I be quarantined? I'm not sick. Why so, should I try and muzzle myself? So it will and make so you they that have way. Plastic guard yeah. up. Yeah. And you know, the the post office in town, the postal service spends so much on this shit. You know, like the postmasters get wonderful bonuses, but everybody else, it's like, fuck you. They went and bought a whole bunch, <coughs> excuse me, of clear shower curtains and strung them up on a pipe at the ceiling and then taped them together with clear packing tape. That's their plastic barrier between the postal workers and the general public. And I thought, wow, big spenders there. Although t the, there's part of that where you go, wow, such big spenders, and then you go, okay, this is a temporary bullshit just slapped up thing. But they're making it last a hell of a lot longer, and I'm thinking expiration date on those shower curtains is going to be pretty quick because, you know, lots of people go in and out of that post office, and I'm sure. How do you clean those? You can't clean those shower curtains up there. It's a petroleum yeah. bi um, product, too, isn't it? The curtain itself? Yes, it is. So, yeah, they're plastic. So, so what but kind how of, do you clean them? Right, but what kind of bacteria and diseases do pe petroleum products absorb and, and attract that the human body just repels because it's, our, it's in our it's the way we work? But yeah. it'll, it'll attract uh, to the petroleum shit and build up, and then after there's so much of it, then, hey, then bad shit starts happening, mold and... Yeah, it starts scuzzing off on the people. And it's okay, like, oh. well, these are the things JJ that... JJ still uh, most said that he's going to wear a thong for a mask. Oh. <laughs> what, what we need is some collectives of people to group together and just speak the truth and stop all this bullshit. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt a lot more people. It's already fucked so many people's lives up already. But it's going to get worse. How can you... you know, isolation. Well, I, I think that's how they're pulling it off. If they isolate enough people and shove enough stupid ideas in their head through the media and Netflix, because what's the first thing that a human being does when they're isolated in an electronic world? They go to the television set to find out what the fuck went wrong. Yeah. Period. You do that instead of looking outside okay. and seeing what's going on. Even if they didn't go through all this, uh, the, hmm, the isolation is a tool to get an uh, end result, and I think it's to depress enough of, of us to the point of uh, you won't reproduce, 
you'll live a lot uh, shorter lifespan because you've damaged yourself, your health in other ways. You've initiated shit that you wouldn't normally have if you'd have been social and out there in the world. See? <sighs> as much as I do not care for people myself, I understand the necessity of being alive and mixing with somebody. You can't just... I Even Grim goes out to town to do some trading. He could have things delivered if he wanted to. Well, human interaction really is a necessity. But each I person so. yeah. needs a little bit more or a little bit less than some other person. It's just the way it is. So, Do you think there's yeah. a good side to a forced isolation, I think is my question no. to you. All right. No, there is no. not a good side to no. a forced anything. Forced. Well, but they're openly, aren't they speaking like that in layman's terms, eh? Forced shutdowns. and Why America? I mean, I left the country in one condition, and here I am almost nine years later, and I'm looking at fucking Nazi Germany. Yeah. And the population is the reason it's happening. What? Wait a minute. What went wrong in 40 years that we went from, uh, you know, save the bales to save the receipts? Yeah. Because when I was, I, you know, what, when I was, what, 20, I guess, 40 years ago, it was a different, completely different world than it is today. Where I'm from. How I see, yeah. you know, how I'm interpreting the information I'm seeing about my homeland is devastating. And it, it just sometimes just bums me out. <laughs> Sir goes, what the fuck? Oh, I'm just, you know. Eh. She knows I get in a grouchy mood because, wow, he's been watching that fucking internet shit again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and mm -hmm. like everybody else, I'm addicted to it. I want to know what's going on. I want to be informed. Don't isolate me and keep me in the dark. I want to know shit. Well, yeah, I want to know shit too, but it's so hard to. Well, sometimes it is, and sometimes it isn't. It's it's not always easy to know if what you know is actually so. That's why I keep harping about the belief system, because that's it. Ninety percent of it, right there. Yeah. Yeah. If you believe it, there you go. Who's going to change your mind? Nobody. You. Maybe, if you hear a better argument. But most of us, when we're comfortable in the stand we got, we don't want to hear anybody else's shit. Shut up. I've made my mind up, and there ain't no changing it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't seem to think that in that style about myself. I might be that way in, in areas, but I don't think I am. So, hmm. Because we all have that self, you know, your self-assessment, and then you got the reality of it. <laughs> and most of the time, they're not exactly the same. Because we, we see ourselves either worse than we are or better than we are, but very rarely balanced. Just normal, average Joe kind of thing. Yeah. Always. We're always comparing ourselves to other people and other this. I do it all the fucking time. Hate it. But I figure maybe there's a lesson in this shit for me to learn. It got nothing to do with you. It's just my ego gets carried away thinking you're you're remembering my life. <laughs> got your own life to remember. So the little interactions that people have with me are just moments that shouldn't carry a lot of weight. Should be just a pleasant. Uh, had a beer with the American idiot. That's that's as far as it should go. Not an itemized list of every fucking move that took place in that period of time. See, because we have the ability to do that. Yeah. Oh, well, we had the ability to do all kinds of things. Well, I'm lazy. Is it the gumption? Is it the wherewithal? Is it the wavelength? Give a shitter. Vibration. Mindset. There's so many ways to interpret all these things. You can believe whatever you want. You can believe yourself into or out of anything. So, the results of all this lockdown and COVID and shit like that is all the input. They're re they're responding to what they've been taught. There you go. 
Where yeah. did they learn this fucking stupid shit about catching viruses and uh, 1.5% 5 of uh, the population is going to die? Okay, well, more people are going to jump off bridges than are going to die of this fucking flu. Well, and what I read the other day, you basically have a greater chance of getting struck by lightning yeah. than by dying from COVID. Yeah. Serious. And still, they're carrying it on into all this, and it's so depressing. Mm -hmm. to, uh, and, and talking about it is kind of probably a pain in the butt, but it needs to be addressed. Somebody has to say something. And if the bulk of what people are saying is pro-COVID, then we're fucked. We need more people speaking up and saying the truth about this shit and stop the well, story. Well, see, and we do have, I think there's more people that are saying it's all bullshit than there are people that are pro. The problem is the ones that are pro have the platform. They have... You know, the so they may very well be lying about being pro, but they're doing it for the power and control that it's giving them. Or they're doing it because you don't do it and you lose your paycheck. Or your life. Or your life, yes. I, I wouldn't put it past somebody that had that kind of money and power to be able to hire people to kill you if you didn't do what they told you to do. I believe that exists. Oh, yeah. That's why I stay so far away from crowds. Of people. Fuck you. Played all that game. I don't know how I survived the life I lived and got to where I got. But I don't want to fuck it up now <laughs> by, you know, doing oh, yeah. something stupid like go to America to help my friends. You know? I think I'm way more help to America by not being there. Yeah. I set an example. I'm all for people living wherever they fucking want to live. All this borders and countries, and it's all stupid to me. <laughs> I live in it. I realize that. And I'm married to a Dane, and I realize all that. But all the, all the explanations and titles and names, it's all just a bunch of shit to talk about between being born and croaking. And how serious I take this is my decision. <laughs> yeah, See, and well. I think... Part of the problem is there are entirely too many people that feel entitled. Hmm. I am entitled to this because of whatever my last name is or just because I say so because my parents never told me no, you know, because there are people like that out there. I, I've dealt with them. Or, you know, people don't realize that, you know, there are boundaries that are good things. You know, like your skin on your body is a boundary. On your body, or a border, if you will. Hmm. Um, yeah. You know, having fences around your property. If that's property that you maintain, that you do whatever it is, you know, and, and whatever you want to do with that, if you have a fence around it, that is your border or your boundary. Yeah. It's when people seem to think that it's okay for me to... Um, invade your border be it with a bullet or a knife or a hammer or just walk through or climb over or what have you but in borders when it comes to countries i think that's that was all something that they made tangible mm. because we had all of these little tribes all of these little cliques all these and in order to be able to bring these tribes together to for control purposes you decided to make a great big border uh -huh. around it all mm -hmm. and say this is this land and these kind of people live on this piece of dirt mm -hmm. and these kind of people live on that kind of dirt and don't you dare cross that border from that kind of dirt to this kind of dirt because you're going to be transferring dirt from one place to the other we just can't have that yeah. those kind of borders are bullshit but well, they're, they they're exist. control mechanisms yeah, they exist. and people yeah yeah they exist because we have been trained mm -hmm. ever so well yeah over the centuries yeah, to believe yeah. that those borders exist. You know, tangible borders, like when you have a fence, or the Chinese, hell, they built a great big wall. Yeah. Supposedly, the Chinese built the wall. I don't know. But 
I've and seen I don't pictures. Know. I wasn't I never, there when never, they built it. Never been to China. But I've my brother has, but I've I've never. But I mean, real tangible walls. Those are borders. Those are walls. Mm. Those are boundaries. Mm. This other shit. <laughs> it's all control mechanism <laughs> stuff. You That's having, pretty much all it is. Are you having fun? I'm having fun with my personal boundaries, mm. you know, and my personal borders. And occasionally I grumble because I have to pull weeds out of the fence. But eh, oh, I eh. learned I learned a little Danish today. Just you one did. one word, but it, it was it dawned on me that I'm learning things because by osmosis. Because uh, the next island over. Uh, the mainland is called Jutland. But if you're from Jutland, you don't pronounce it Jutland. They use the Y, Jutland. And today ah. I was at the bar and my buddy's in, got his friend from Jutland. And their dialect is different. They're just a few miles apart. But to me, what it, it, it separates the tribes, the different dialects of Danish in, in the country here. They're all different tribes, and they're, they together make one big country of different you know, tribes of the same origin. Uh -huh. Yeah, And I'm seeing it, and I'm starting to understand it in words. So I was impressed with myself. I thought, wow, I caught that. Nobody had to explain anything to me about it. I went, oh. Yay! Dang. Well, if you do, see, that's what I think, is if you hang around enough, you're going to find out way more than you know, than you want to know. I'm not, I don't like small talk, Mary. I like the big, big ideas. Like, let's take over Denmark and rename it. We'll call it Steve. No. Steve? Well, you know, I'm just making a joke. I know. But, I'm just thinking. The country of Steve. Do you know how many Steves will show up going, is this my country? You know, no. if, if everybody named Steve tomorrow united and joined force together with all their guns... They could take over America in about 12 minutes. That's an interesting concept. I'll bet you there's probably 20 million guys in America named Steve from age zero to, you know, whatever. So you think about it, all those guys named Steve. That's a pretty tough name. They got guns. Sure. I don't think Steve's a hairdresser. <laughs> hmm. I was being thinking, judgmental about names. I see that. <laughs> I got a hairball. Okay, well, I'll stall, um, I'll stall your hairball with thinking, my own. I'm thinking, Steve likes pizza. I want to open a pizza shop for all those Steves. Because, mm. I mean, multiplicity. Want some pizza, Steve? Want some pizza, Steve? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yes, I think Steve needs pizza. Okay. I, I want to do a pizza parlor. Oh, really? Who in their right mind well, would want to go into a, a business, a commerce act at this time in, in history? What's the point? The game is actually, collapsing. Let it let it drop. Let it fall. Well, Wayne was Wayne was asking me about that because he said, when we get to the point where we're you know have enough produce that we just start selling, are we going to do a farmers market or how are we going to do this? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, the problem with the farmers market and especially going to organized farmers markets if, is you have to have a tax ID stamp. You have to collect sales tax. You have to do this. You have to do that. I would just assume just set up, you know, like a, a gazebo or something and have tables under the gazebo and then every morning go out there and set out whatever produce and have a free will donation can. You know, if people want to buy stuff, great. If they don't, okay, that's going into the house and we're going to go ahead and can that stuff up and... Mm -hmm. Next day we'll start again, but I don't. I don't want to do that whole business venture thing. Same. Yeah, and the further away I get from commerce, the less I miss it. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. And oh. and as far as I'm concerned, both between the two of us, we have fairly good sized families. So you know, it's one of those things where, hey y'all, we got so much of this going on. Yeah. If you want to come out, yeah, you yeah. can just. Take whatever you need, but I'm I am almost to the point where it's like mm, 
you know, if you want like 10 pounds of potatoes or whatever, you come dig them. Don't expect me to dig them and deliver them because most of my family, you know, they're quite a few miles from here. Mm. And it's okay for me to deliver to them but yeah. if they want to come get it. Mm. So it's like, nah, nah, if you want it, you'll come. Oh, get it. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, I think a, a lot of that's just laziness. The 21st century has brought us uh, horrible laziness, I think. Yeah. Everything that you do has got a machine attached to it, somehow or another. Remember when you, when you had to, you know, like, I don't know, push, like your push mower. Mm-hmm. I don't even think they make them anymore. Yeah, they do. Okay. The ones that you just push that are not motorized. Right. My mom has one. Okay. Well, with this new uh, collapse, a lot of things are going to go, and probably one of them will be like shit like that. They want motors attached to everything. They want cameras and microphones installed, you know, so they can keep track. Well, I already told Mom, when Mm -hmm. she decides she no longer wants that push mower, I Mm -hmm. call dibs, and I'll even pay for it. Uh, I I I was listening to Max Egan before the show tonight. Uh, our show, and he was—he's down in Australia, I think. Mm-hmm. Poor guy, he's just so fed up with his um, political establishment. He comes right the fuck out and calls these people are lying thieves and they need to be removed. Blah blah blah. One, wow! And this is a guy with a huge pop, you know, um, huge following. Thousands uh-huh. and thousands of people hear what he says. And there's other guys, <clears throat> small, but they're like that, where there's they got a quite an audience for what they talk about. You would think, wow, who'd listen to you? Because you sound like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was making a joke. But he's, so he was talking today about they want a catalog and every seed and know where every plant is in the future. Oh, yeah. Wow, and I'm just finding why? out about this. Okay, you know why they're doing that shit? So they there's can control a, there's the food. this wonderful lady, from, yeah, this wonderful lady from India that um, is uh, found out that not only Monsanto but Bill Gates, they're coming in and they're finding seeds, and they're then they're doing like a cross pollinization thing on it, and then they're patenting that cross pollinization and saying. Oh, well, you can't have those seeds unless you get them from us now because we did the cross-pollinization. Right. Yeah. Now we have a patent yeah. on them. And so yeah. that's what they're trying to do is they're trying to make it to where you can't seed swap or anything like that. It's yeah. like bullshit. See, bullshit. The black market will win out in the end. It always does. These these laws, they're always temporary. And it doesn't matter how long. You know, It's, it's going to go away and change into something else. They're going to control everything. And we're going to be willing participants because there's not enough resistance for something that's so obviously bullshit that sure has a huge following. <laughs> you know, there is there is a lot of resistance out there, but nobody wants to be the first one. Hmm. That's the problem. Nobody's got the chutzpah to step up and go, no, so the, my ass. So they're all undecided by not making the decision... Is, and is my thought, well, wow, yeah, at least if you, you know, get together with people and decide we're going to do this, that's usually how things happen. You know, yeah. when, when me and Cirque were living in Copenhagen in an apartment on the third floor, okay, and we uh-huh. got a, a little two-floor um, two place out in the country, and when it was time to move, there were people moving us from her family okay uh-huh and uh it wasn't you know how how it can be if, if people try to dodge out ah, well i'd like to help you but you know i, I got a golf game at two no no yeah. it's always yeah or the yeah yeah and they didn't then they don't show we have a terrible history of that where i'm from and these folks were organized and i, it, I was more in the way than anything because they'd done this before together. They were like a team. You know? Yeah. And, wow. Well, I didn't grow up in a tight family, so the, all this 
family thing is like so different to me. To watch a, a big family organize, but put them together and get them drinking, and, and they have their arguments. But when something serious is going on, then it's time to be serious. You know, time to play, time to not play. And I'm growing into it still. It still isn't normal, my you know, normal comfort thing because I'm not used to it. And I spent a lot of time with just Cirque. So I've got that isolation. And then I get thrown into these things with the family. And these people are so nice that there's never anything to complain about. It would, it, it, she says, oh, my mom wants to come by for dinner. I go, oh, sure. Because in all these years, I've never had a disagreement with her mother. So it's always good to see her. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've never been able to say that before. And, there you go. Yeah, well, I got married twice before this and didn't work. And a lot of it was family and, you know, the, the police. <laughs> because uh, I don't conform, so people, you know, they want me to go a way out. Well, see how you are, you nonconformist. Yeah, you. I took on the state of uh, Tennessee, basically, through the school system. And they said, no, nah, we're not going to fucking even hear you. You're going to way out. Mr. Troublemaker O. And I had a good stand on, you know, my case was real and, you know, my side of it was great. But they didn't want to talk about it. So I had to go away O. Sad O, huh? <laughs> but every, Sado. see, every, Sado. and this is every step that I've made along my life has obviously led me to where I'm at at the moment. But to end up in a place where I'm comfortable was, I never thought that was going to happen. I was expecting the chaos and the, the drama of America. Yeah. Well. I don't get it. I have no drama. Zero. I mean, the only drama and excitement is me and Cirque. And now everything else is peaceful and quiet and comfortable. And then the world's on fire. And I'm waiting for the other fucking shoe to fall here. And go, okay, where, you know, something's got to be fucking wrong somewhere. And I get up in the morning, and every day is just normal. So, hmm. And the only time things are fucked up where I live is when the government gets involved. Yeah. And when well, we're, we're yeah. left alone, there's zero crime. People are fairly decent to each other. You know, they drive a little faster than they should, but eh, that's that's being a driver. I did it. When I was them, I I did the same thing they're doing. Yeah, well, you know, and I know I'd had a discussion with someone before I came home from the chiropractor and and uh, about speed limits and not wearing a mask and blah, 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 blah. And she said, you know, I don't pay attention to speed limits. I drive however fast I want to. And the, in a perfect world, that's fine if it's just you on the road. But the problem is there are other people out there on the road. And those other people may have the same mindset as you. I'll drive however fast I want to. Whether they are capable of controlling the vehicle or not. Mm. And speaking from experience, <laughs> yeah. I would just assume pay patient. Mm. I mean, I don't really have a problem with speed limits anyway. Because for the most part, I'm not in that damn big of a hurry to get anywhere. Not anymore. It's like, I'll, I'll get there when I get there. Well, they're pointless it's, anyhow. Well, I think they're basically suggestions that have become a revenue generator. Yeah, but they're pointless. If you will. Because we'll, we'll drive the speed of traffic as a rule. I drove a lot of years. And no matter what the limit was, high or low, you're driving the speed of the car ahead of you. Yes, yes, because so. if you're trying to stick with the speed limit and traffic is going 15 miles an hour faster than than the speed limit, you are actually being more of a hazard mm -hmm. than than uh, if you were to go ahead and just keep up with the traffic. I get that, yeah. Yeah. but then when you have the idiots out there <laughs> that go, who yeah. gives a shit about the speed limit? Yeah. I've got a new Mustang, 120 mile an hour. Zip, 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 zip. No, no. You want to do that? Go to go somewhere where you don't have to deal with 
people just tootling along, looking on their fucking phone while they're driving, you know, or not paying attention to their fuel gauge, and all of a sudden the idiot light goes on, and, you know, those <laughs> kind of people out there. And so you don't create an accident with some other idiot. The assholes and the idiots, when they get together, it's like a mess will happen. You just hope to God it doesn't happen right in front of you. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on the matter. Well, then <clears throat> I'm I'm in a dilemma now. Now I have a split. I'm for social distancing, and at the same exact time, I'm against it. Hmm. I don't think it should be mandatory. Oh, that might be my problem. <laughs> oh, the mandatory part. That's that. That's what gets me. Because mm-hmm. I think that if you want six feet from me, that's cool. You know? But if you're being forced, well, how do I know if it's me or if it's because you're being forced? And as a living organism, I think these ideas cross my mind whether I know it at the time or not. I must think a million things. And it, while something's happening and you react to all the shit, and you don't even think it at the time. But later on, you can look back and go, wow. Oh, ooh, hindsight. Because living in the moment, yeah. it takes all your energy. It's why we're so easily distracted by the future and the past. Yeah. Yeah, you need a lot of fuel to vibrate at the right frequencies. A lot of things you need to take into your body to make this machine run at its peak performance. And unfortunately, those things aren't available to us. You can't buy them because they exist, but they're not mass manufactured used by all people. It's only some people. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you've ever eaten good food, and I call good food the food that after you finish your plate of food, you feel energized because that's what food is supposed to do to you. Yes. But we have get these second-rate versions of that that don't, they don't give you everything they could. And the people supplying it to us have written these bullshit laws to control the crap so that we'll get the results we get out of these second-rate things that they make profit on. <laughs> you know, with their little fiat currency pyramid scheme. And the fucking mm-hmm. thing fell two years ago. But we're in the we're in the end days of it now. See, and <clears throat> I keep seeing all this stuff of just say no to a cashless society and I'm... And the back of my mind, I'm thinking, no, 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 no. Let's let's just do away with money altogether, okay? Because I I really now their version of cashless society, yes, I would say no to that. But my version of a cashless society where you do not need cash because you were born on this planet, therefore, you should be able to have share in the abundance of this planet. You know, I, I don't have a problem with doing away with all types yeah. of money. Yeah. And, but we're not ready to do that yet. And the reason I say that is because there are entirely too many people out there that are still in the, <clears throat> I'm entitled, you owe me, yeah. I, you can't, no, i got to get enough for me, you can't have any. You know, that kind of mindset yeah. yet. As opposed to, there's plenty for everyone. No, 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 no. I got to go hoard toilet paper. I read something the other day that uh, one of my cousins, when all this coronavirus shit was going on, mm-hmm. she said like three weeks after the initial with everybody hoarding toilet paper and all that other fun stuff, she said their local Walmart put a big sign up on the door that said, we do not accept any paper goods returns. So all of these people that realized they were total nimrods for purchasing all this toilet paper and paper towels and all that other fun <laughs> crap, <laughs> they are now stuck with it forever Ever. or until yeah. they use it all up. Yep. And see, that kind of mindset, i got to get mine before everybody else does. Hoarding, yeah. prepping. Yes. Call it prepping to make it sound um, really good for everybody. You know? There you go. When, it, well, when you think it through, well, what about... Those people that don't have shit that you bought ahead of time, blah, blah, blah. They're just going to group up and take it from you. So, nah, it's not worth it. 
In the bigger cities, yeah. Yeah. Out oh, here, yeah. Not so much, but yeah, in the bigger cities, yeah. Prepping Depends on how you will have a lot of good. I've got yeah, a location, uh, location, location. But I just, I think eventually it would be wonderful, and I think humanity has it in it, hmm. in in its species, hmm. to be able to get to the point where we really don't need a monetary system, because we all realize we're all born here, we're all of this place. Physically, at least. Yeah, but see this. And we're all going to die here. So, you know, yeah. this shit of, i got to get mine first. It's not going to go it. waste. Come on. Where's it? I, I, think, I think humanity has the ability to evolve beyond it. But the mindset has to shift. Hmm. Yeah, Grimmy said, send all my money to him and hmm. he'll get rid of it. Honey, I'm not no. ready to... Oh, and yeah. then earlier I uh, I commented to to JJ St. Louis, Missouri. I, he said, "Where is it?" He says, "Uh, you know how life works, just random." And I said, "I decide how life works, JJ. <laughs> how's that?" And then he says, "How's that work for you?" That's I'm if I'm complaining, it's usually about government or religion. The lack of uh, quality in, in the daily life that we get, that we have. Yeah. So, but as far as life, my life is fucking cool. Yeah, if I had to, to be somebody else, I wouldn't want to try it. I like me. This is cool. That, that's how I feel. Yeah. So, but I've got this. What do you call it? I don't know. Look. If a religious guy would say Jesus saved him and brought him to Denmark, and you know, uh, an egomaniac would say I planned the whole thing out. I was so I saw it all coming, but yeah. all I did was just live live my life in in front of me, follow following it where it went, and this is the results of it. And if if I'm delusional, at least I'm fucking happy. So. Well, you yeah. know, and that's how you manifest your reality is you go with the flow. You don't resist where yeah. you're going. You're well, just going with it. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, if it feels good to go this direction and you go this direction, then you are not resisting the direction that you you have set your frequency at, your vibration at, whatever. You're just going with it. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I think. There's no yeah. patterns. There's no time schedule. It's... And now with Cirque, with the um, she got to go to work for two days. <laughs> but uh, you know, with with her home so much of the time, it's easier. You know, it made life easier instead of harder. You know, because she wants to play the commerce game. Well, and you know what? It should be a game. You know, if you're wanting to play that game, make it fun. Exactly. It should be a yeah. game. She gets to make stuff and play on the computer. There, there's some shit to it. I mean, it's not all cake, but the, the cake yeah. the cake outweighs what maybe ten percent of it. That's really a pain in the butt, and that's usually other people, you know, miscommunicating. Yeah, but you know what? Even the pain in the butt is a teaching moment. So you know, yeah. I'm really getting more and more to the point where yeah. it's like, okay, everything is a teaching moment. Now I may not be enjoying the lesson right about now, oh. but it is a teaching moment. Yeah. Well, interpretation. I just have to find it. Yeah, we just say it differently. That's why I like to argue with you because we say the same shit in the end, but it sounds different when we're talking about it. <laughs> and then I listen back and. Like, wow, we just look, you're just standing in one spot, and I'm looking at it from a different spot. So I see what Grimmie you're, sa- what? Grimmy says the cake is a lie, and uh, he's right. He's full of the shit. The cake is just a, it's just a really fluffy cookie. Nah, he's full of shit, too. The cake is real. <laughs> but Grimm's see, lying about the, the cake, Miss Mary. If I say the cake is just a really fluffy cookie, yeah. then when I want to have a cookie... I'm I'm having a really fluffy cookie. <laughs> well, do you know I really do believe the dollar did finally collapse. Oh, I think okay. yeah, it did. All right. And uh, that we as a collective on the globe uh, blah, 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 here, we're we're living on the remnants of a of a long 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 scam and they're still carrying the scam out, but they're not using finance to carry it out. They're using the other shit 
to hide the fact that they're stealing more and more and more and more and more and more money. Yeah. And but they they offer the public a crumb while they steal all this fucking money right in front of your face. You, wait oh, yeah. a minute. Wait. What makes 300 people so fucking important that they need 3 trillion dollars? And everybody See, else there, gets 1200. There's the rub. There's the rub. Is they've convinced everyone else that they need that 3 trillion dollars or whatever the hell if they They've fuck us any harder, that it is their due. But th they're fucking us so hard, people are dying. Okay, this COVID nonsense to save lives was to kill off the old people. Oh yeah, and that's done a bang up job. <clears throat> let me tell you. Yeah, well, they were thin in the. They told you it was a culling. They they want to yep. get the herd down. There's too many of us because they say, wait a minute. But why did they get trillions of fucking dollars? Well, they're culling the fucking herd, and the herd is standing in line like a bunch of sheep waiting their turn. And if you and speak you know, out against it, out in that public out there, you usually get your ass handed to you by the do-getters. You know why? They're, they're really big on getting rid of the old people, don't you? Because those that still have their memories intact. Yeah, that, knowledge. Yeah. That, yeah, they can tell you just exactly how, it used how to they're be. fucking up history. Yep. Because... They've got the experience, the life experience at it. Granted, it's from their perspective, but still, you talk to enough of them, and you get a pretty good picture after getting multiple perspectives of it. Yeah. So, yeah, that, the culling of the elderly is most definitely an intentional thing to erase history. They're, they're pulling a reset and a his story we're next. right now. Hey, so, uh, we're the next group they're after, dear. Okay. I know. So we just skate by on the first calling, you know, and but the second one, when that one comes, they're going to have tools to play with, with a 5G and 4G and GG and the BG. Yeah, but you know what? what? All of that shit, I think, is going to take out the younger ones before it takes well, us out. I was because they're the ones that have been overly inoculated. No, right. But I was considering the wavelength thing and going with the 40 to 60 crowds. The next, uh, that's the next target. The young ones, <clears throat> they need them to use their phones and, you know, watch their TV shows. Make them celebrities. Well, they've already sterilized half of them, and the other half is autistic. I so, mean, you know. I cannot understand. I, okay, how can anybody look up to and worship a human being that's worth a net $100 million because they're such great basketball players? What? <laughs> Are you out of your fucking mind? What does the guy I'm do? Not, oh, he I'm throws. I'm not much on basketball anyway. He anyway, dribbles. Like, okay, yeah, he dribbles down the court. You know that's what they made depends for. Where does the hundred million dollars worth value come in? See, it doesn't. We create that, so we do all this shit to ourselves somehow. Just haven't figured out how to undo it. I figured out how I could undo it, but I can't help anybody else do it. It's just life. We're See, and I think professional sports is pretty much done for. I mean, it's it's on its last legs simply because the COVID shit come in and they canceled all of these professional sports. And now the professional players are trying to be relevant with the Black Lives Matter and take a knee and blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. And it's like, nah, nah, all you're doing is pissing off more people. Personal so, deprivation. You know, you give somebody a, a thing and then you take it away from them. No matter what it is, even if it's mental, if it's an idea, you take that idea away from them and they go, hey, you're depriving me. And yet you really can't take an idea away. Sure you can. How can you take an idea away? Just right. because you but, go and do something with it doesn't mean that they don't still have it. That's how I see a lie. I get fucked because you told me something that wasn't true twice. Once, because I believed you, and twice because you lied to me. Wow, that was pretty fucked up of you. Well, yeah. Well, A lie is basically, basically theft, so yeah. Yeah. I take these things personal to heart. I'm sensitive well, I about that. it. Right, but see, I've, I've grown beyond that physical confrontation part of life. Now all my confrontation there is left is mental, verbal, ideas. So, yeah. 
you give me an idea and it's a bunch of bullshit, then I got to wonder, well, who the fuck are you? You know? And this goes to the government that claims to own my fucking, you know, body. They don't own shit. They ain't got no fucking claim to me at all. Unless I allow it. Unless, unless I go looking for them. Hey, look at me. I want something from you. Who are you? There you go. Playing the straw man game. Yeah. Because as long as you're alive and you don't deal with them, they leave you alone. So they came up with all this COVID shit. Of course, to mask the, the dollar crash. Ooh. This is a lot of people were going to go broke any fucking way. They just didn't know it. Because your dollar has no value. Zero. What's it worth? Nothing. The only value it has is the value that people place in it. But they're playing the public with this COVID shit to avoid you know, dealing with what they've done to you through their finance games is coming back to bite them. All right? And they've got people pitted against each other, but I still yet to hear anybody say, hey, this governor's got to go. What in the fuck is wrong with this maniacal prick telling us what we can do? And they get just more lockdowns, more masks. What? Well, the killer hornets didn't work. So they got to do this. Well, the lockdown and worked, I... Mary. That's what I'm complaining about is the results of that are coming. We, you haven't yes. seen it all yet. Oh, no. There's people out there that have yet to snap. But when they do, it'll be induced by something the government does. That Manchurian candidate kind of concept. Very, uh, I'm a conspiracy theorist, if you didn't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think the government's evil, and it does terrible things. And other people think that without the government, we, would have, we wouldn't have this. And I say, oh, that would be so nice. Wow. Well, government is a mass delusion. They're all the same. They use different languages, but they're all the fucking same. I know, same. but they're they're all a mass delusion. We're all under mass hypnosis, and anyone that actually believes that government, you know, and it's it's just people acting under the color of government or Ooh. under the name of or with the label of government, and those people. Mm. People can be real douchebags. <clears throat> or maybe enema bags would be a more appropriate <laughs> phrase for them. But I, government is just a, a made-up construct that everybody has been deluded into believing that it's the government that does it. No, it's people in the name of. Yeah, yeah. That's all it is. We could stop this in a group, but there is no group to stop it. There is only a group to continue it. And that's coming to an end. That's what's happening. It's collapsing into itself. And before it, you know, before the shithouse goes up in flames, there's still time to save something. But it'll never be huge like America again. They're going to do away with all that. You're easier, yeah. easier to control if you break it up and separate it and control it small, you know. Instead of 50 states, we'll control one state 50 times. Yeah. So I figured and the U.N. Space, and it'll be real easy. All they got to do is control the state of mind. Yeah, and the U.N. is flexing its muscle using Antifa to do these fucking stupid things they're doing with the consent of the sitting government. So... And the people just sit back and let it all go. Like, nah, this is cool. What are you? What are we not seeing the same here? <laughs> How can you be in a collapse and not see it? Um. Well, I don't know. I, I can see it. How come I can see it? But yet the people that are in it physically in it see it differently what am i am i exaggerating something or huh? maybe maybe gas didn't go down to minus 35 a barrel but retail prices weren't affected <laughs> stock market does fine hey wait a minute you got locked down the retail prices did go down but they didn't go down to where they should have reflected mm -hmm. that price mainly because probably 60% of your at-the-pump 
price is taxes. See, so one I mean, and or how, another. how do we live in all this deception and accept it as as willingly as we collectively do, and it just gets fucking worse daily instead of okay, take it out. I've had enough. They go, oh, ooh, I'm starting to like this. Oh, can I wear a mask too while you rape me? I mean, what the fuck? Because I, for one, am not impressed. But the cleverness of disguising a financial collapse with a COVID and riots, what brilliance. That took great planning and thinking. You know, let's hide everything. How? We'll fuck it up right in front of everyone. No, won't even know. Yeah. I wonder how many important documents were burned in the looting or stolen as a, you know, the looters proceeded to take everything in front of them. <laughs> you know, so there's lots of guys out there that are going to benefit greatly by papers disappearing, you know, proof vanishing, buildings being burnt down. Yeah. Why? It's the opposite of how reality should work, people. We should be up mm-hmm. up to our eyeballs in livid. But instead, I was glued to the damn internet watching it happen on TV. Yeah. Thought, wow, I'm sure glad I don't live there. That would suck. Where's that? Oh, America. And I thought, holy shit, that's where I'm from. What the fuck is going on here? And... Everybody else seems so calm. My my interpretation of your uh, collective response to all the drama about what's happening to the states, it seems like you guys are all cool. Nobody's over overreacting to anything. But the Internet is. Well, yeah. The Internet is an interesting thing. They've got com- people oh. convinced there's Black Lives Matter thing is real. It's a bunch of shit. A bunch of white, pretentious pricks trying to you know look important. Fuck you, idiots. You don't give a fuck about black people. You don't care about white people either. You don't even care about people. You just want people to think you do. So you're showing off. If well, you, it's, yeah, it's a manipulation. You know, if you want to care about people, help some older person do something they can't do physically. Be quiet about it. You know, just don't, just do it. Yeah. Hmm? Well, you know, when you when you get out there and you brag about stuff, as opposed to just just living what you want the world to be like, eh. you will eventually affect others. I think Frequency it's, range it's, wise. it's in the atmosphere, you know, advertising and clothes and jewelry, all these things that they've perverted. Ink. I remember when having a tattoo was rebellious. Now, fuck, grandma's yeah. got tattoos. You know, what the fuck? It's taking the fun out of it. Well, I'm a grandma with tattoos. Exactly. And that's what I mean. When I was young, it was like, oh, that fucker's got tattoos. Whoa. And then now I'm old, and it's like, hey, that fucker doesn't have any tattoos. wonder what's wrong with him. <laughs> Must not get out very often, poor guy. <laughs> yeah. I seen a guy the other day with no ink, and that's what I thought. I thought, wow, you must not go anywhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, think yeah. about all these obsessions that we've been uh, given as, like, freedoms. Oh, they legalized pot. Oh, fuck. I wish they wouldn't have done that. Now they're going to we're going to have idiots smoking pot that does, shouldn't be smoking pot because it's cool to smoke pot. Not because they like to smoke it or because they want to smoke it, but now it's it's cool. Look at me. I'm at the club. Oh, fuck. Yep. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Whatever the population is fucking doing, it's bad. Don't do it. Now, it doesn't mean don't smoke pot. It means don't go out in their commerce game and play their fucking government shit. You know, taxes. and Oh, I got it from a, a, a license. Fuck you. I got mine from Paco down at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm not going to divulge Ooh. any real names or places on the radio. <laughs> 
I'm using to a... To protect the innocent yeah, or I'm, the co-conspirers. Yeah, I was using... <laughs> I made up name. Ha. Who would... I see how you are. Who would guess? Uh, well, we only got ten minutes left, though. You know, but I, I was really glad that Grim got a chance to do what we do. And see, it's not it's not like it's bad. It's when you're doing it. I feel every episode I do, especially with Mary, I wonder if what anything I said all night made sense. I always think that at the end. Well, yeah. But I it's understand okay. that. Yeah, but it was good to hear it happen to somebody else. So I'm not alone in my little, you know. Now my drama has been shared by somebody else that they didn't, I didn't suggest they do it. They, they did it and told me in a way. Wow, yeah. But it, it's like, I can look at this as a gift now because it does come a little easier for me than other people. But when I melt down, I know it. Yeah. So I'm not out of touch with reality, but Grim made it more aware, made me more aware that being able to do radio with you without a script is kind of a. It's not everybody can do this. So I was patting myself and you on the back for being so special. <laughs> well, we are special. I know. And I do quite literally now drive a short bus because I drive a minivan. <laughs> hey! Oh yeah. Oh, you can't drive I know, a sedan Wayne always anymore. goes, you know, I never was much on soccer mom vehicles, but mm. this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Damn rednecks. <laughs> I know. Right. Well, you know, when you like, because all of the seats fold into the, into the floor, so you've got a nice flat area back there. Mm. And you can put a 4x8 piece of plywood back, Oh, you know, in uh. there. So, yeah. It really does have a lot of moving material room in cool. it, and then it's you can still seat one, two, three. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. You know, six passengers, so seven person van. Wow. So not bad. But yeah, and it actually gets same gas mileage as my Mazda did. Really? It's not a little bit better. So yeah. Hmm. So I'm tickled shitless. Now, I did have to take it in and get a tire fixed today. Hmm. So when I got, while well, my back was getting cracked, I was getting a tire fixed, too. I had a flat tar. Hmm. So, well, it wasn't flat, but it kept losing air. So, Well, you know, so, maybe the yeah. gas that I don't buy is made available for you. You know, maybe that's See, the, how that works. Because uh, I've given up my wasteful um, fuel spending ways, traveling-wise. To make room for somebody else to do it. <clears throat> Sadly, ah. I didn't see the end of the world coming like this. I thought people were going to still have freedom to travel and do what they wanted. So this ending was way out of... That was the last thing I ever wanted to see. So I, it gets me a little emotional, I think, when I think of my homeland turning into a prison. Okay, well, maybe you need to think of it as hmm. we had two options here. To slowly take that band-aid off and individually rip out every hair on the arm or the leg, or to just rip that bad boy off. Yeah. And apparently we're we haven't decided yet which way to take that bandage off. So it's, it's a slow rip, then a big rip, and then a slow rip, and then a big rip, and, uh. and maybe that's what's going on. But once you get the band-aid off mm. and and the sore is exposed to yeah. air and sunlight, yeah. Yeah. maybe some healing can happen then. Yeah, when the truth surfaces and everybody can <clears throat> look on one thing <clears throat> and see it all at the same time, the same way, which is not likely, but it could happen. It could, but yeah, it would have it to, could. It would have to be a product of um, truth, not bullshit. Yeah. It's And there's no other way. So, But sadly, it's such a negative thing to have to look at that you were duped for over a hundred years with all the money stories and presidents and land. Like in the beginning when you were talking about the English, I don't think the English ever left the United States. I don't believe the United States ever had any freedom from England. I think it's a story. The British tell Crown. Us. Yeah. Yeah. But they it just, is a day that, that we supposedly declared 
our independence, which whether we actually got it or not, <laughs> the, the thought yeah. process, yeah. you know, or the mindset of it is this is a day that independence was declared. And so, you know, if people wish to celebrate that, they should be able to celebrate it or commemorate it or ignore it, however the case may be. But by mm. God, governor's got, you know, no ruler has any any right, any business mm. Telling us, in order to do this, you must wear a suffocation device. Fuck you! Which I do have to say, um, my little sister shared something. Let me see if I can find it. From Chris Kobach, who used to be the Kansas State uh, Secretary of State. And he said, the gov governor may certainly issue whatever recommendations she wishes. Recommendations she wishes. Under the right circumstances, wearing a mask may be advisable. However, her authority to order the citizens of Kansas to act is limited by law and by the state and federal constitutions. She's already lost in court by restricting the right of Kansans to worship freely. She will lose in court regarding this order as well. She's proven once again that she does not respect the freedom and responsibilities of Kansans to make their own decisions. So there's already there somebody's taken this before the Kansas Supreme Court, and I know the last little edict that she handed down was was also booted. She was told, "No, you can't do that. Nope, that violates not only the Kansas Constitution but also the United States Constitution. This one is the same way." But you know, she put the shit out there. She got everybody in a dither, and I know I'll admit I got in a dither, and then I realized, okay. Let's use this frustration and this anger in a positive way. So I started putting it out all over the place. And by this morning when I was putting it out, I was going, do you think you ought to do what the governor says? Here's your sign. You know, something along those lines to let people know. Here's your sign. Put that mask on. There's your sign. So she'll lose this one as well. But it's just enough. It's her way of saying, yeah. Try and celebrate your independence. I'll show you. Another or uh, a leeches that be form of saying, hold my beer, watch this. Mm. Well, bitch, <laughs> I'll hold your beer. Mm. But you better have it open beforehand because if you don't, I'm shaking that bad boy. Mm. So that when you do open it, you're going to get it all over you. So I'm, Yeah. I just had to throw that in there because well, my little sister shared it, and it's like, yeah, there are ways to do battle with the dragon. Yeah, the truth will work. Yeah. That, uh, that's what I've been saying for shit. years. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I believe that I wouldn't have acted any differently if this place had behaved the way that Germany did. I'd just be probably in lots of trouble. Yeah, see, and I really think that's probably part of the reason why. I mean, I just keep seeing mm. all, maybe I'm making excuses, I don't know, but mm. there were so many things that I put out into my universal stream that I think the universe said, okay, we're going to do this all in one fell swoop. Boom, you just had a head on wreck. That way you can't go and piss people off and wind up in jail. You just have to be in recliner jail. <laughs> Ew. I lived through it, but what the hell? Recliner Rob jail. Work said, yeah, petty tyrants testing their limits. That's pretty uh, much what's going on. <clears throat> it's worked. Anyway, yes. we've come to the end of In a Perfect World, and everything was perfect in the world. And then we started to talk to each other and fucked it all up. <laughs> 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 Is what, what I, I'm starting to wonder, you know. If we don't communicate with each other, we seem to do pretty good passing by in the street. And you don't, you know, yell at everybody you see. And you get along fine with those people. So, hmm. Who do you seem to argue yeah. with? The people you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't seem to argue yeah. with total strangers for no fucking reason. It's always somebody I know. So, there we go. Yeah, uh, well, well, and I, don't, I don't even call people out for their masks unless they call me out for not wearing one. And then I just tell them, well, I'm not restricting my oxygen flow, thank you very much. And then I turn and walk away. Yeah, well, it's easy for me to armchair quarterback this whole thing because I wasn't there. 
and I'm not there. I'm here. But fuck, I can just imagine if they would have gone all ballistic. I know me. I'm not complying. It's horrible. It's, a, it's like I'm not as bad as Rob. We're all, you know, no matter where I'm standing, but in my own house where I live, yeah, no, there, there's limits. So, hmm. but luckily yeah. for me, Denmark didn't go the force way. They went the volunteer way. And uh, as sick as I am to the, my stomach that they did go as far as they went with it, could have been worse. Yes, yeah. yes. And, you know, yeah. I wouldn't have a problem if they did the voluntary thing. Because mm. then, hey, here's your sign. At least I can see. Mm. I, I, I can recognize them. <laughs> Easily. Well, I'll see you people next time if you tune in on In a Perfect World. I'm out of here. How about you, Miss Thank Mary? you, everybody. I, I'm out of here, too. I'm thinking I need some <laughs> recliner time. So, see you. Love you. Bye. Thanks a lot, everybody.